week's new article in the publication Brain Tomorrow. And we checked, yes, this is a real publication. How loneliness can lead to food addiction and then obesity. It makes sense, right? The study says UCL health researchers suggest that loneliness can lead people to unhealthy eating habits. When taking brain scans of women who identified as lonely, researchers saw increased activity in the areas associated with appetite and hunger. Along with studies showing half of all Americans feeling measurable feelings of loneliness, you combine those two, and there's the problem. Gail Saltz is here, clinical associate professor of psychiatry. New York Presbyterian Hospital um, is with us now. Uh, I, I, they really had to study this? You know, we, we do need to understand the impact on the brain in terms of loneliness. Why? Well, it's a public health epidemic, if you listen to the Surgeon General now. And the group that it's newly affecting the most are young adults. So we're not just talking about aging people um, who are alone. And it has huge ramifications in terms of its impact on the brain. This is one, one that does not surprise me, because it also, we know, can cause clinical depression can cause anxiety disorders, can increase the risk of alcohol and substance abuse. And so no surprise, yes, it can impact systems that have to do with reward, which is food. Um, you know, evolutionarily speaking, we were meant to be together with groups of people and have bonds. That's how we survived. And when that was at risk, we looked for other resources and food is a big resource. So. Again, not surprising, but it also was interesting that it decreased centers abilities that have to do with willpower. So just saying, okay. hey, no, don't it, it makes sense, right? Cookie. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work to just say, don't do it. Uh, we have to come no, up with it, it may fit. Lonely every day, 10%. Lonely once a week, 30%. Lonely every day or several times a week, 30%, which I guess at some point you, you add all that up, you get to 70%. That's a lot of lonely folks um, in the world. Um, and you make a great point heart disease, dementia, stroke, depression, anxiety, all, all go up. One of the great cures for loneliness, for depression, for anxiety, for uh, heart disease, uh, for obesity, for not eating too much, is all working out. Um, and all, all the new data is showing that, uh, in some cases, working out and physical activity is, is as effective as taking drugs, especially for, for lower level cases. And I'm wondering, when we're, when we're reading all these studies and when we're talking about them, if we're not giving effectively the old fashioned cure, the natural cure, enough credit and enough, and enough willingness to tell people, look, stop being lonely, get out and go work out, go for a walk, go do things, rather than, hey, it's not your fault, you're lonely, sit at home and take this drug. Well, I would like to say the answer is somewhere in the middle. I would like to say that psychoeducation should be telling people that in fact there are great benefits to aerobic exercise. Three to four times a week, 30 minutes, get your heart rate up, and as you said, can go head-to-head -head with medication from mild to moderate clinical depression, not severe depression. So it's important for people to, to understand that. But I would also say, just saying, hey, uh, get over being lonely by going out and exercising, uh, that, that actually won't work. So I think we have to give them other tools um, in addition that to deal with loneliness, because loneliness is about having just a few people that you feel really intimately connected with and you can be vulnerable with. And how do we do that? We have to put more of an emphasis on forming communities, on it's okay to be vulnerable. We're not at that point okay. now. We have no conflict right. resolution abilities. So we have to we have to work on things like yeah, that. People are, like, yeah, people, people, yeah, people don't enjoy being told um, some of those things, uh, as you point out. Gail, we got to run. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.